Greetings and salutations, everyone. My name is Colin Moriarty. I'm IGN Senior Editor, and I received something pretty cool in the mail today that I wanted to show off to you guys, especially you PC gamers out there. What this is, is EVE, the second decade, and our friends at CCP in Iceland sent this over to us so we can take a look at it. Uh, EVE, if you don't know, EVE Online is an MMO that's on PC that's been going on for over 10 years, and what's really cool about EVE Online is that it has a small but hardcore group of players and that group keeps on growing and keeps on growing continuously. It actually hit 500,000 players this year. And PlayStation gamers out there like me might know about a game called Dust514, which is a shooter that launched free-to-play on PlayStation 3 last year. And Dust514 and EVE Online intersect with each other. So there's two games there. And what basically this is going to celebrate, as the name suggests, is the second decade of EVE Online as we move into year 11 and beyond. So let's take a look on what's inside this. Uh, by the way, if you go on CCP's website, you'll find this for 150 bucks. So this thing isn't going for cheap, and it's in limited quantities. So if we see the box here, first of all, it's got a cool little sleeve, which we'll take off in a minute. The construction of the box is actually really, really nice. Um, you see the EVE logo, the Dust logo, and the CCP logo. Uh, on the back of the box, you get a little glimpse of uh, what's inside the box. And I think what's the, the coolest thing that I'm excited to get my hands on in here is something called the Danger Game. Uh, and the Danger Game is a board game uh, that CCP designed uh, and sold before and while creating EVE in order to fund the creation of EVE Online. So let's get inside the box and take a look at what's going on in here. We'll take off the sleeve, as you can see here. And then we'll open up the box. So let's start with this little thing here. It looks like it contains some CDs, but we'll, we'll make sure. So there's another sleeve here. EVE uh, or CCP likes their sleeves, it looks like. And on the inside, we have some cool stuff here. So let's take a look. This is actually quite nicely constructed again, just like the box. So here on this disc, on this compact disc, as it were, is a, a soundtrack. Um, and this, let's see, performed by the Icelandic Symphony Orchestra at the Harpa Concert Hall in Reykjavik, Iceland, April 24, 2013. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then we have some cards here. So on this card here, it says Collector's Edition Mystery Code, and there's a code on it. And we'll see, I don't know what that does. It's a mystery code, so who knows what that does. So we'll, uh, actually we'll just keep these aside so we can show them to you later. And then here is another card, and by the way, these are, these are nice. These are like, almost like legit gift, gift cards, not, uh, not paper. Uh, collector's Edition In-Game Items on the back of this guy here. And then if we go to this guy, this is for Dust514 on PlayStation 3, Collector's Edition In-Game Items Code again. So very nice. And then down here, we have <coughs> activating and claiming your in-game your, your in items. And it basically just explains what you're supposed to do. There's a nice little picture there on the, on the, uh, on the left side of a guy from Dust514. And we have some more keys. Use the special CD key code to create your EVE Online account. So you get two free months of EVE Online from this as well. So there's a lot of cool stuff here. So let's set this all aside. And we'll move on to the next thing. The next thing is what I said before I was most excited about. This is the Danger Game. And this game, of course, was created by some guys at CCP, like I said earlier, to fund uh, the creation of EVE Online. And it's, kind of, it's never been in English, actually, until right now. So let's take a look at what's inside. So you have a nice little tin here. It's very nice. You can just kind of put it away in your closet when you're not playing it. <clears throat> and on the inside, you have, and I have no idea how to play this game, by the way, but you have cards and, uh, that I'm supposed you need. They're, they're marked item. You have some little pieces, uh, kind of flimsy pieces. You have these little chips here. You have some silica gel. You don't want that. Some money. Some more of these little chips in silver and gold. A couple of six-sided die. And then what looks like... I don't know what these are. The car Oh, this is the board, I think. Or some sort of uh, character sheet. And then the rules of the game. So that's kind of neat as well. So we have all of that. And I will be learning how to play this very soon. Most interested in that. So I'll figure out the silica gel. So we'll put that aside. And then what I'm super excited about here, and they refer to it a little bit actually on the box, um, is we get a little bit of a ship here. And this is a four port USB hub modeled on one of EVE Online's most iconic ships, the Rifter. So <clears throat> if we take a look at it here, there's the Rifter. Kind of cool. But there's four USB ports in the back of it, as you can see here. And it comes with a little uh, <coughs> USB cable that you can connect to it, as well as uh, pieces of the stand here that you can uh, you know, kind of construct it and keep it on your desk if you'd like. So that's kind of neat. 
And then underneath all of that, if we put aside the box and take out the last piece here, or the last pieces, I should say, <clears throat> we have a collector's edition EVE Online into the second decade. And this is probably going to be pretty cool, especially uh, if you are a huge fan of the game, and if you're watching this, you probably are. Uh, much like the box that the book, I'm I'm kind of amazed. I've done a lot of unboxings here on IGN uh, of various games and things of this nature. I'm I'm actually super impressed by the construction of this. It's 150 bucks, which is really expensive, but I guess you're kind of getting your money's worth. The book is super hefty. Um, and if we just kind of put these things aside here, I'll give you a closer look at the cover and what's inside the book. So you can see here, it has a, it actually has a nice little cover on it. Underneath is just a the, uh, the black book binding. <clears throat> and if we uh, go through it, it's just a lot of text. Not surprising, this is from the same company that does economic reports on its game, on its fake economy. Um, so I'm sorry, I'm not holding this open very well. Let's get rid of this. <clears throat> just a lot of information, a lot of art, and things of this nature. Very, very, very cool. Very cool. A lot of hand, beautiful hand-drawn art, a lot of interesting information here, I'm sure. And then I'm not sure what this is, so let's take a look inside and see what it is. It's ah, a little opener here. Ah, okay, so this is the board for the danger game. Cool. So those were the little, little character sheets that we saw before. So there's the board. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So let's go through everything we had again, okay? So we get... Inside this box, we get all of this stuff here. Your activation code for EVE Online, a couple months free, codes for Dust and EVE, and a mystery code that we're not quite sure what that does, as well as your EVE Symphony disc. We have a copy of the Danger Game, which we see the board right here. We have EVE Into the Second Decade, which is a beautiful book, almost 200 pages. And then we have this little replica of the Rifter ship with some stands and things of this nature. There's just some USB ports on the back. And I think that's everything. So for more on EVE Online and for more on Dust514 and for more on CCP's future plans, keep it tuned to IGN.